Okay, so we're here on the north shore of the Big Island of Hawaii at a place known as Waipio Valley. And there's several hazards that exist on the Big Island at this location. Uh, one of which is the hazard of tsunamis. Hawaii's location in the middle of the Pacific Plate means that it's particularly susceptible to uh, tsunamis that are generated throughout the Pacific Ocean. There's uh, a lot of subduction zones that line the Pacific Rim and those subduction zones can produce large-scale earthquakes that displace water, sending tsunamis out across the Pacific and Hawaii sitting in the middle of the Pacific Ocean uh, is particularly at risk to those tsunamis. Uh, in the Waipio Valley here, the risk is, is, is more accentuated because the valley sits so low. It's one of the few places on the Big Island where there's a valley near the ocean. And as the waves from the 1946 Alaska earthquake uh, came racing across the ocean, they inundated uh, this valley up to about 30 to 40 feet of water. So the tsunami hazard in these locations can be particularly high. Another hazard that exists here uh, are large-scale landslides. So if you look out here towards the cliffs, you can see a fairly steep cliff face projecting out from a more gentle slope that represents the, the shield vo volcano of Kohala, which is the oldest of all the, the volcanoes on the Big Island. And these sheer faces are the detachment points for large-scale landslides that have uh, broken off of Hawaii and traveled out into the ocean. And these things have been generated mainly through the instability of the island as they've grown larger and their mass increases, they become unstable over time and then they, they generate these large-scale landslides, which can also generate tsunami. Um, these ones are fairly old. These ones probably happened a few hundred thousand years ago, but there's still a threat here of that same hazard.